For I think no one can today doubt that we are in a deep crisis, not only political crisis, not only economic crisis, but first of all a spiritual crisis. So we Christians, we who confess Christ, have to, to go through that very stormy sea, waves of, of, of that sea of this world with some clear-cut principles of discerning what is right, what is wrong, what are we to do, discern the spirits. It is a spiritual discernment. And it is a spiritual discernment because what, what acts in this world are not abstract ideas or anonymous impersonal phenomena. Behind everything there is a personal, personal presence. Never be ashamed of believing, naive as it may seem to people of our age, never stop believing that the battle is in, in this world, the struggle is not uh, between structures and systems, political or economic, people like that idea. No, struggle is personal. It is the spirit of God, it is the spirit of evil. From that point of view, difficult as it may seem for us to understand, every personal victory on evil, maybe even unknown to the world, has an impact on the whole situation. A saint leaves the world, lives somewhere else, no one knows about him, but he is participating in that great struggle which will be going on until the end of the world.